Remember when I compared Buffy the Vampire Slayer the film to Warrior Nun? Yeah, in this video I'm going to break down the 1992 film and why they just did it better. Warning, this comparison has some light spoilers for Warrior Nun and the Buffy the Vampire Slayer film, so if you haven't seen the TV show or the film, please don't watch this video. Buffy the Vampire Slayer is a 1992 American comedy horror about a teenager named Buffy Summers who finds out that it is her destiny to fight and slay vampires. The film stars Christy Swanson, Luke Perry, Paul Rubens, Donald Sutherland, Rucker Hauer, and Hilary Swank, who I totally forgot was in this movie. The film starts with a rather long dance sequence introducing us to our main character Buffy, her cheerleading squad friends, and all while doing the activity that she loves most in the world, cheerleading. The foursome of friends go to the mall for an afternoon of shopping when a strange man approaches Buffy as the mall elevator doors are closing. The next day at school, the strange man introduces himself as Merrick, a watcher whose sole purpose is to oversee Buffy's vampire slayer training. He tells Buffy that she is a vampire slayer and that it's her destiny to fight them. Buffy initially doesn't believe him until he describes a reoccurring dream she'd been having. And now we have the start of a great campy popcorn flick. Warrior Nun is a fantasy drama about Ava, who discovers she possesses supernatural powers and is the chosen halo bearer for a secret sect of demon hunting nuns. Ava is thrust directly into her new responsibility just like Buffy and needs the appropriate training. Before the halo was placed inside Ava's dead body, she was an orphan quadriplegic. Now with her new superpowers, she has a second chance in life and doesn't want to give that up. Who wouldn't? Ava's situation is super relatable and the audience wants her to have a happy ending. So of course, she refuses the call to be a hero. Buffy's internal struggles stem from her wanting and needing to be a regular teenager. She knows that she has a big responsibility, but Buffy's not quite sure she wants a lifetime of slaying vampires. Her struggle is somewhat relatable in regards to being handed a big responsibility and not wanting it. Buffy accepts her new role as a slayer after Merrick brings her to her first graveyard. She instinctively takes to her latent slayer skills and kills her first vampire. It's not until she's touched by the tragic death of Merrick that she refuses her call to be a hero. Now, here's where the writing of Warrior Nun gets it wrong. Ava refuses the call to be a hero and retreats to a normal life with her boyfriend and his friends. Even when refusing the call causes harm to another Warrior Nun, she still doesn't want to be a hero. She starts a downward spiral of self-loathing, so her friend Shaka Mary takes her to a small village where she learns of how the Warrior Nuns helped a small town full of demon-possessed people. Even after that, she still refuses the call. Ava has her first demon kill and it still takes her another half of an episode to get with the program. Buffy does this so much better. Buffy refuses the call and decides to go to her senior prom. Lothos, Rucka Hauer's character, decides to crash her prom and kill Buffy. The writing removes Buffy from the action temporarily, then hunts her down like a dog and brings the action right to her. I read it in a lot of places that Josh Wheaton hates how the Buffy film turned out in the end, but that's still some damn good writing. The action and climax are wrapped up nicely with a bow and leads to the development of the Buffy the Vampire Slayer TV series. Warrior Nun gave us way too many lows in the action. The episode where Atara came and snatched Sister Lilith was the perfect opportunity for Ava to answer the call. The episode where she learned about all the good things the Warrior Nuns have done was a great moment for Ava to answer the call. Having Ava prolong her journey testing her powers with Jillian Salvius was unnecessary. Ava never got her formal training, the ending of the show was really thrown together, and it ended on a cliffhanger so we could look forward to season 2. There is something to be learned from even a cheesy, campy popcorn flick. Never leave the main character out of the action for a long period of time. You risk dragging your show, or your film, down with the ship. Well, maybe that's just me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified on new content. When do I post new content? Every Saturday. Next Saturday, I'll be reviewing Barbarians. See you there! This is the Movie Complex channel, your place for bite-sized reviews.